It's an old school battle in the Keystone State of Pennsylvania. The Eagles and the Steelers are underway. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. the bat here's Pickett to throw it it's brought in by Harris down he goes at the 23 a pickup of four <laughs> to throw again on second down Pickett and that's complete it sends and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds a gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Pick it. That's caught by Sims. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. And now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. Here we go, it's Pickett on fourth down. And going deep downfield for Boykin. And this is dropped. Oh boy, a chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Sanders, and nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. T.J. Watt in on the tackle. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing his hurts. And he slings one that's incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, this is simply a great read by a defensive back. It's third and 10, so he sits right on where the yard to gain marker is, knows it's going to be a route around that distance, makes his read, breaks on the football, and makes a terrific play. In there to drop it for the loss, linebacker Nicobe Dean, an outstanding play. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Working out of the gun, it's Pickett. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Then they get in there and knock another one away. I think maybe that 
tougher rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder. Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. Now Pickett on fourth down. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Pick it now on first down. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Miles Boykin from 19 yards away. And the Steelers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Boswell good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And through an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Here's Hertz to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. It's a second down run with Sanders. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Hurt sets up to throw it. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. On first and ten, it's Sanders. He will push his way down to about the 14. There on the tackle, Mika Fitzpatrick. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jeremy Hurts finding A.J. Brown. 
And the Eagles are an extra point away from evening this one up. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Steven Sims on the return from his end zone. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good lead on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. Going for it on fourth down. Here's Pickett. Oh, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. Well, this is a nice little gift wrap situation as they take over first and goal. In motion left, the tight end. They'll run with Sanders. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches just say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. On second and goal. Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, only the two catches for him thus far, CD, but both of them have resulted in touchdowns. And I think he's on the bench right now, Brandon, smiling at his position coach and telling him, all those times you talked to us about efficiency, I'm living it right now. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14-7. to Touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. With this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Pickett's throw there, complete to Sims. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Pick it to throw on first down. 
And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Pick it back to the air on second down. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free, and there's another example, another incompletion. Pick it right back to the air again. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Miles Jack working free that time to take him down. The protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. 19 tight, 19 tight. Set the ring, set it. No lead, go. 19 right. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. Hurts fumbles it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Miles Jack picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. And not a great punt here. Out of bounds in the air. They're going to say this one doesn't even get to the 40. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To the air on first down with Pickett. Buying time to his left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Trying to get away, but could not. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And he's going to go down again. Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to it. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. Back 
back to throw here. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. The disaster there when I mean, you saw it coming. The pressure gets knocked down, the interception. Sometimes the best throw you make is the one you don't make. Exactly. Take care of the football. He'll also learn how to shrug his shoulders, take the proper slide steps to alleviate some of the pressure. But occasionally, like the one we just saw, sometimes just hold on to the football and take the hit. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll look to throw here. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders taking it in from seven yards away. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little more momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and ten, it's Pickett. And that's complete. It sends. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 56 yards. Pickett will look to throw it here. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Back to throw, pick it. He lost two there, and it's third down. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Kenny Pickett connecting with Deontay Johnson. And the Steelers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. 
This is taken way up at the 25. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. First throw taken in by Watkins here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith. 55 yards. And the Eagles use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had to quote it back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. That's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go a little bit. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, that last touchdown, we just saw what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. That will set them back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. To try again after the sack, Pickett. He sets to fire deep. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Johnson, the man in motion right. Pick it to throw. And that is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth.
The kick by Elliott is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that bit says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And some room to roll now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Looking to throw here. Pick it. And this will be caught at the 30. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Pickett. He's got his tight end fryer move right side. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles.